So if you've taken an abstract algebra class, you know that D4 is the group of symmetries of a square. That includes rotations and reflections. So here's a little map of this picture. So these are all the configurations of a square that we can get to under rotations and reflections. And this represents the paths. So notice we can go to, from this square to this square a couple of different ways. We could take two 90 degree rotations, or we could take this reflection and then two 90 degree rotations and then back with this final reflection. And so I think it's interesting you can get from one square to the other two different ways and that'll give you the commutativity rules in D4 if you play around with it.